Hi, I'm Dave Rush, and welcome to the ISE Sports Show. These are some of the tips that you can learn at these sports shows when you attend an ISE Sports Show. I'm known for spotted bass fishing, and one of my favorite little tricks to do is a Texas worm rig, but it's a little different than most people use. I start by using a bullet weight. You can use tungsten or lead, whatever you prefer. Then I'll thread a glass bead on. And then before I tie my hook onto that line, what I'd like to do is I use these little rubber peg it tools, and I'm going to peg that glass bead. And I'm going to pull that rubber up into that bead, snip the one end off flush, slide it up in there. Snip the tag end off the other. Then I'm going to slide that bead up the line a little bit. And then I'm going to tie my hook on, making sure where I inserted that bead was down here with that rubber. I'm going to go past that. Tie your favorite knot. I'll use a Palomar here. Slide that up, cut that tag end line off. And the reason I do this, is I'll show you when I rig this worm, a lot of anglers, when they rig their plastic worm on their worm hooks, one of their biggest enemies is when they rig that up there, they like to hide that knot in the eye, and they slide it up over that. Well, a lot of times, that weight will come down and push that worm down to where you have a kink and it doesn't keep it straight. So that's why I rigged that glass bead on there. I'll slide it down just above that worm and leave a little bit of space. Now that weight won't come down and knock that worm off. The other handy thing about this is I can take this Texas rig worm and turn it into a Carolina rig by just sliding that weight up just a little bit. So a lot of times I'm fishing for spotted bass, they get used to that Texas rig, I'll just slide that bead up. Now I can have a little miniature Carolina rig to go after.